Okay, I want to look at an example, um, sort of illustrating how to use methods and uh, eliminate some redundancy. So this example comes from our book. Um, I'm looking at the, the online second edition, so it's number 11 in chapter one. It says, write a Java program that generates the following output. Use static methods to show structure and eliminate redundancy in your solution. And then here's the output that we're after. Um, this is also a problem in the practice set. So I just wanna show you that. Make myself smaller. Same problem in practice set. Uh, it's a different number, but we're in a, this is uh, this is the fourth edition of the book. So building Java programs four. That's the one that we're using in practice it. Um, you could also use five, but all the links go to edition four. <clears throat> Write a complete Java program in a class called. So here they're telling us the name of the class, star figures. That's the difference. That generates the following output. Use static methods to show structure and eliminate redundancy in your solution. Um, I want to point out in practice it, there's a oftentimes a little trick up here, show header, which will start either the header of the class or if it's a method that you're writing, it can generate that method header for you. So if I click that, it'll say, you know, are you sure you want to do this? And say yes. And then it starts off our public class star figures. If I'm coding an entire class, I generally don't want to do it in practice it because it doesn't, um, practice it will not auto generate sort of like if I do an open brace, it won't generate the closed brace for me. So when you when you make a main function, you know it won't it won't open and close. It doesn't it doesn't have quite as nice editing features. So if I'm doing a code, just pieces of code, I usually will do it in, in practice. It um, if I'm doing a, an entire class or sometimes a whole method, I will do those over in Eclipse. Okay, so we'll jump over to Eclipse. Um, I'll jump into chapter one. I'll jump into my source code, source code folder and then highlight default package. Again, if you're on a Mac, go ahead and use package one or P1. I'll do a new class and we'll call it star figures. Notice if I wanted to put a package here, I could browse. And there's P1 right there if I want to, if I'm on a Mac. Okay. Um, if you're on, when I say that, I mean, if you're on a Mac, you actually need to do that. Everyone else shouldn't have to. I do want the public static void main. This just auto generates the header for me. Um, I still need to learn that public static void main, open parentheses, capital string, closed brackets, args for arguments, and then closed parentheses. But for now, we'll just auto generate it put our block commenting in, uh, forward slash and an asterisk, followed by a re enter. Sometimes I call enter return. Um, just the older keyboards used to have a, re used to be called return instead of enter. My name, so you, again, you'll put your name there. Um, CS142, whatever the date is. So for me, it's the 26th of June. I'll, I'll write here today's date. So, and maybe I'll put here, you know, this is your name. Um, you know, sometimes we might say, you know, this is, you know, ver version one of this um, class. We don't need to here. And then I'll just, I'll just briefly say what it does. Um, this class uses methods to um, print a given set of stars. Um, in a way that uh, what was their wording uh, eliminate uh, shows the structure overall structure. While eliminating redundancy. A lot of what we do will be about sort of making sure that our we don't have repeated lines of code really anywhere. I mean, a, a single line repeating is not a big deal, but if you have like 
the same bit of code repeating over and over, you would rather capture that in a method. OK, so let me go to the original problem. And I have it. I've copied these, this figure over here in the notebook. Uh, so here's star figures. And, and when we look at it, what they mean by the, the overall structure is when, when you look at this overall structure, what, what's the design of our program going to consist of? Well, one way to do this is just to, just to type in you know, however many lines of code this is, how many, how many lines of output this is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 23 lines of code. So I could have 23 print statements in main and I would be done. Um, the problem with that is a lot of the print statements would be the same and it doesn't show sort of the overall structure. What is the overall shape of this thing? So when I look at it, I notice there's a print line here and here. And those print lines are dividing sort of this thing into three pieces, the top, the middle, and the bottom. So that's sort of the overall structure of the figure. Um, if we go into sort of write that down, we have sort of a top piece, a middle piece, and a bottom piece. And the, the, the pieces are separated by print line characters. So when we go back over into main, into our coding, you know, we can literally have three functions. The first function draws the top. And then we need to open and close parentheses. We're not, we're not passing any parameters. There's no input to this function. And then we need a semicolon to show that we've closed it. So now I have an error because I didn't define this function draw top. So I'll come to the end of main, which is this bracket. And I'll define that function. Again, it's a static function, meaning um, Oh, let's, let's just need it for now. And boy, there's no output for that function. Um, the name of the function is draw top. So this part's all needed for our function. This is our function declaration, how we define our function. Open brace, hit return, it'll create the closed brace. So now I got rid of that error. Public static void main, draw top. There we go. I'm not gonna put the function in here yet. But maybe I just put an empty print statement here. Something's wrong. I noticed, I noticed I'm not auto-generating um, the parentheses and things, so I'm just going to try that again. It didn't auto-generate those closed quotes because I had put the semicolon already. So I, why am I putting this print statement here? I just want to see that this function is getting called by main and that the, oh, so this is running like, the, this is running something else I don't, I don't have in here anymore. So I don't know why it is, but let's, um, nothing else is open. It's weird. Try it again. Okay, it's running the old code that I ran. I'm not sure why. Um, I don't have it open. Usually that means that you've left it open somewhere, but I don't. There it goes. Okay. Uh, it was just a little glitch in my uh, Eclipse. That can happen. Okay, so we're back here um, in main. It draws top, so I don't really want this fake line of print code in here anymore. I'm just going to delete it out. Go back to my picture after the top. So I'm going to have the top end there, and then what's this, what's separating these these three bits of the picture are are, are empty print line characters, empty print lines. So I'm actually going to put a print line statement in main here. And then I, if I wanted to, I could proceed and, and, and create the function draw top, or I could con con configure main for what I've already decided is going to be its structure, draw top, draw middle, draw bottom, declare each of those functions, and then move on. So what, I'll, what I will do is I'll, I'll sort of do this 50-50. I'm going to draw middle here. And then since, and then draw middle, and then below that we'll have a print line statement. And below that we'll draw bottom. 
No. I don't really want to go through, I could right now go through and declare each of these functions like I did with draw top, and then I would no longer have those errors. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to comment this bit of code out. So I'm highlighting it. And if you're behind me, just pause and come back. And then up here under edit or refractor, let's see, where is it? Okay, I highlight these three lines of code. And up here under source, we're going to add block comment. And that will comment, oops, comments that code in. It did a weird thing of putting it all on one line. I'm not sure about that. We want that to go away. We would remove block comment. So I didn't, it didn't, that didn't do quite what I wanted it to do because it changed the, might've been the way I had it highlighted. Let's highlight the whole thing like that's what it is. I didn't highlight the whole line. So if I highlight the whole line, go to source, add block comment. Nope, did it again. Uh, remove block comment. So that's changing the spacing, which is not what I want to do. Um, So I'm not going to worry about it for now. I will just manually put the commenting in. Forward slash star and down here, uh, star back asterisk forward slash to just to comment that region out. I don't know if that was worth it. Let's take that back. I'm just trying to show you a, a trick in Eclipse, but let's just go ahead and define these functions. So below draw top, public, static, void, draw middle. Notice the first word is lowercase, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, open brace, hit return, generates the close brace. First, first word is lowercase for a method, and then all the subsequent words are uppercase. It makes it easier to read. Um, the only thing that starts the uppercase right now is the class name, capital star for the first word. Everything else starts with a lowercase to start. Okay, and then one more, drop bottom. And that's the overall structure. Now I haven't done any of these codes yet, so let's go ahead and go into draw top. System dot out dot print line. Um, and what do we want that to look like? I have five asterisks in there. Now I noticed that second line of code also has five asterisks. So you might think, well, well let's have a function called five asterisks. Um, I could, but I don't really want a function that just has one line of code in it. If, if, if my function only has one print statement, then that is the function. So, you know, print line is a function. And this, in this case, we're printing five asterisks. So there, there'd be no reason to have another function that just does the same thing. I just need to print this, I just need to have this line run twice. Does that make sense? And then I wanna print these two stars. So it looks like there's a space, an asterisk, a space, an asterisk. I could put a space at the end, but because I have a print line, it won't need it. And then I want that, uh, then I want one with an asterisk in the middle. So it's got, uh, let's see, one, two spaces followed by an asterisk. Again, I could put two more spaces after it. Um, it might help me see it better. Let me go back to this one and show you one more space after. It helps us see the, the pattern a little better, but we, we, would, we wouldn't need them. And then the last line should be this, sec, this line repeated. So I'll copy it and paste it in. 
And I'm going to run and make sure that my code generates the output that I want. There it is. That's the top of our figure. Oh, yeah, there it is. OK. So now when I go back to this guy, middle starts with the same five lines of code. So I could copy these five lines of code and put them in middle. Or I could have middle call the function draw top. So let me show you on paper what that looks like here um, before, we, before we code it in. OK, we're going to try using my pen here. So middle here actually consists of top. And then after top, it again, it draws these two lines. And bottom, well, let's see what it has. It has, let's say that's, you know, three stars. And then it has top again. So we're taking middle and we're cutting it up into two pieces, the top and the two lines. And then we're leaving top alone as top. OK, so now we're going to go back to my code in Eclipse. And we're going to set up middle to have top and then the two lines. But I noticed you know, these two lines that we're talking about here, uh, come on, pen. These two lines are actually the same as those two lines. So maybe we take top and we call it two lines. And then, I don't know, what does that part look like? That part looks like, eh, it kind of looks like an X. Maybe we call this draw X. So this changes the structure of the code a little bit, just based on what the shapes look like and, and what the repetition is. And again, I, I could just have 23 lines of print statements, but that gets repetitive. If we think about middle as having a copy of top followed by two lines, that's great, except those two lines are the same two lines that we had in top. So now we can deconstruct top a little bit into two lines and draw an X, and then middle can call top, and then it can call two lines, and then bottom can call another function, three stars, and then call top. OK, so we're going to leave that structure, maybe move that over. Probably can get rid of it. Go back to Eclipse. So what I want to do is I want to change draw top to a function that calls two functions, the first one being draw two lines. So notice each word starts with a new um, capital letter, except for the first word. So draw two lines, and I'll Write that function again. I have to get outside of top to write it. So we're going to go public static void draw two lines. You know, naming functions is a tricky thing. Um, can be tricky. One way to think about it is if, if the name of the function tells you what it's doing pretty succinctly in two or three words, that's a good name for the function because uh, you want the person coming along after you who reads that to be able to know what that function does. So this function draws two lines. What two lines? These two lines. I'm, gonna cop, I'm just going to cut them out of there and paste them into here. And sometimes when you cut and paste, you lose your, um, you lose your indentation, so you have to be careful of that. And then we'll run it and make sure that it still worked. It did. So we captured those two lines in a function called draw two lines. And then we're going to capture the next three lines in a function I tab in called draw x. So there's the function declaration, or the I'm sorry, there's the call function call draw x. And I'll go below draw two lines. Sometimes I like to sort of put my functions in order. Again, I, I find that I find the bottom, the end of draw two lines, and then I hit return twice to start my new function public. Static void. I'll try to make this bigger for you guys. 
Let's see more of my code. Draw X. And I guess the more that you need is above here, really. Uh, can't fit it all. So there's no there's no variables or parameters coming in. Open curly bracket or brace, open brace, closed brace. And then I want to copy these, cut these three lines of code out of draw top and paste them into draw X. So when I modify code like this in, 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 you know, in real time, you might need to pause and stop and make sure that you've done the same thing. Otherwise you're going to get a lot of errors. Okay. So <laughs> because you, you, you know, we, we, I'm setting it up so that my functions are calling the other functions. And so notice there's no errors. If you have errors, you need to pause and, and figure out where they are and fix them. Um, so here's my main draw top print line, draw middle, print line, draw bottom. And then we just redesign draw top so that it's drawing two lines and then drawing X. So then I wrote draw two lines and I wrote draw X. I really just copied and pasted that code out. The reason I did that, all that, is because I'm trying to avoid redundancy in middle to not have to do this two lines of code again. In other words, now I can just call that function two lines and not have to recode it. So in middle, you know, there's a question of where, where should I put these functions? So, you know, there might be an argument for middle and bottom to go right below draw top and these other functions to go below them. I don't know, that kind of makes sense to me. So it doesn't matter. I'm gonna cut them out and paste them in right below draw top where they originally were. That's maybe a little more structurally um, makes more sense. We were drawing top and we're drawing middle, then we're drawing bottom, and then the functions that those are calling are below. Okay, but now draw middle is essentially done because all we have to do is draw the top and then draw two lines. And then before I go on to draw bottom, again, I want to run it to check if it's working. And there's the top and there's the middle and we're in good shape. And then draw bottom again. Well, we've done most of the hard work. We don't have the three stars. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna write draw. Then I'm putting the word draw in front of these. I wouldn't need it, but it's just, it's more descriptive than just saying three stars. What is the function doing? It's drawing three stars. Um, but you know, I don't have that function yet. So let's just comment that out. This is a, another trick to kind of you know, set up the structure without actually doing the coding. And then we need to draw top. So I could run it, run this and see if it's working, you know, at least in terms structurally, there's the top, there's the middle, and there's the bottom without the three stars. And again, I can make my console smaller so that I can see what I'm doing with my coding. And then I need to, Define the function, draw three straws, three stars, and I'll do it below draw x, public, static, void, draw three stars. It has three print statements. See, if you close the parentheses, then you lose the, the double quote thing. So. Easier just to open the parentheses, then hit open quote. It'll, it'll automatically fill the other ones in. The first one is printing uh, an asterisk. And I'll put a semicolon, and then I'll just copy this thing. And paste it in two more times. And we'll run it. I intentionally have an error there. I just wanted us to see, oh, 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 where's my three stars? My three stars are missing. Why are they missing? I, I coded it. It's doing everything I told it to do. So we would walk back, you know, we could walk through this code. Goes into main, calls draw top, draws two lines, draws an X, draws a prints a line, draws middle, draw top, draw two lines, prints a line, draw bottom. Oh, we commented out, draw three stars. We need that. And then again. Oh, that doesn't quite look right because those three stars are not in the middle, they're on the left. So I need to go back to that function 
and put the spaces in here. One, two, one, two, one, two. And run it again. There it is, three stars, boom, boom, boom. Um, so those of us who are sort of looking at this going, oh, wait a minute, you've got these two lines of code repeating and those three lines of code repeating, and that's repetition, and you're very right. Um, I wouldn't want to make a function that calls and does that same bit of code um, because, again, the function, you'd have to call it three times, and you, you're calling a function three times already. This print line function, you're calling three times here. So you, there's no reason to no A function should not just contain one statement because then you don't need the function at all. So, but what you could think about is, oh, it's doing the same thing twice, and that brings in the idea of a, of a loop. In this case, doing it twice, and in this case, doing it three times. So I'm going to end this video, and I'll come back with a second video, Star Figures 2, where we um, eliminate some of that redundancy using a definite loop. And again, all these videos will be uh, accompanied by the source code. Um, I notice in on Canvas, sometimes the video is easier to watch directly through YouTube, like opening a new window in YouTube. I'm going through here and, and deleting some of this white space. I want an empty space between my comments and my class. I don't really need a line there. And then I want a space between each of the functions, the ending brace and the start of a new function. So I'm just checking that that spacing is there. It makes it easier for people to read. The other thing we could do is we could go through and sort of uh, see all this empty space down here. I don't really want all that. We could go through and comment what these functions do. Um, we don't really need to in this case because the name of the function is telling us what they do. So draw bottom is drawing the bottom. Draw three stars is drawing three stars. So by choosing naming that is descriptive, it allows us to not have to write, this function draws an X. I hope that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna come back here and modify this uh, two seconds. But when you're, when you're looking at these videos in, through Canvas, I think it's easier to open up the page in YouTube and watch them through YouTube. You can also have the option there of closed captioning in the YouTube. I, think, I don't think you can do it within Canvas, I'm not sure. Um, the other thing is you can speed them up or slow them down. Um, I sound really funny sped up, but there it is. Um, I haven't listened to myself slowed down. The other thing is below each um, video, I will post the code that accompanies it. So um, you can see the code in Canvas. Again, it's usually easier to download the code. It's, it'll be a text file. Um, or yeah, it's just a text. It's a dot, so it's just dot, dot Java file, but it's just in text. So um, then you can see the actual text. I would try not to copy and paste. The only way to learn how to do this stuff is by actually doing, so typing this stuff in. And ideally, if, if you cannot try to copy, but either follow along or redo the logic on your own, it will help you learn. So again, there's this guy, draw top, print line, draw middle, print line, draw bottom. That's, this is walking through the code. In draw top, we draw two lines, and then we draw the X. I might then go down here and draw two lines. Okay, two print statements, draw the X. There they are, three print statements. And then draw middle. In order to draw the middle, we actually redraw the top, and then we draw two lines again. And draw bottom, we draw three stars, then we draw the top. 